My name is Bruno Sade from brunosade.com. The other day, one of my clients asked me, how much do we need to dive into the past in order to resolve our issues? She was wondering about this because she knew that other types of therapies often spend lots of time looking back at a person's past. So today, I thought that I'd share the response that I gave her. In the EFT process, as I perceive it, we spend as little time in the past as necessary. Ultimately, what most people want to change is their present and their future. That's why a large portion of our sessions is spent focusing on recent or future events. Our main goal is to help you feel calm, in control, and ready for whatever comes your way. Sometimes, as we are tapping while focusing on the present or future, past memories spontaneously surface. When that happens, it's usually a sign that this memory is connected to whatever we're working on. If you are okay with it, we can start tapping on the feelings and emotions that come up when you think about that memory now. Often, this process can help you become aware of what beliefs were formed at the time of these memories, such as, there's something wrong with me, and or how these memories are affecting you today. There may be times when you feel that a certain memory or period from your life is important to the issue that we are working on, and you may want us to address it with EFT. That is completely okay. But remember that we don't want to get too lost in our past memories. We avoid this by continually checking in with what's going on in your mind and body as we refocus on the present and the future. By future, I also mean goals such as I would like to feel at peace when X situation happens. So EFT is really a blend, a bit of the past, a bit of the present, a bit of the future, all mixed together in just the right amounts. Here's a quick example. If you're scared of public speaking, we might tap on times where you felt this fear recently or when you think that you might feel it in the future. As we are doing this, a memory from the past might surface. If it does, we can tap on it to help you release the unpleasant emotional charge connected to it. Then we return to the present and future and see what else your mind comes up with. In another session, you might tell me that last week you recall that time in the third grade when you had to give a presentation, made a mistake, and everybody laughed. If you are comfortable, we can tap on that memory. Then we again explore what comes up when you think about the next time you have to speak in public. With EFT, We're always focused on helping you heal and grow in the present. But we are ready to deal with any echoes from the past if they're affecting your now. It's kind of like having a friendly conversation with yourself, right? So that's it for today. I hope this was useful and I look forward to seeing you again in one of my next videos.